brand new allegations about Susan Powell's disappearance. Her husband, Josh, is now claiming that a stack of old diaries may hold some new clues. Did you kill your wife? No. Their family seemed picture perfect. Two beautiful children, a home in a peaceful Salt Lake City suburb. But when Susan Powell suddenly vanished in December 2009, all eyes turned to her husband, Josh, who eventually became the only person of interest, according to police. Did you have anything to do with the disappearance of your wife? No. Nothing? Nothing. Josh told police he took his boys on a winter camping trip the night his wife disappeared, leaving their home after midnight to drive to a campsite two hours away in the bitter cold. When he returned, he says, his wife was gone. Now, after 20 months of harsh accusations and bitter family embroilments, he tells ABC News his story. What is the truth? People who know me know that I'm a good dad. I work hard. I put my sons first. I was a good husband. I took care of my family. And I see you're still wearing your wedding band. Yeah. You still love her? Yeah. I guess you could say that I still love her. At times, he stopped the interview, oh. claiming he needed time oh, yeah. to collect himself. Why take your two young sons camping after midnight freezing cold temperatures? Well, we just go out and do things that are fun. But it's after midnight. You know, shouldn't your sons be sleeping? Weren't they sleeping? People who know me know that time is hard for me to keep track of. I tend to be spontaneous. I do things in the spur of the moment. Why not call work the next morning to say, hey, I was out camping, I'm not going to be in today. To be honest, Saturday was a blur. I was convinced it was still Saturday. And the search for Susan Powell continues. Just last week, West Valley City Police following up on new leads, searching these abandoned mines in the Nevada desert for clues. While Josh and his father, Stephen Powell, have been making parts of Susan's old journals public, claiming it provides possible reasons for her disappearance. What do those journals tell you about Susan's life growing up? Susan was very emotionally abused as a child. Her mother has some very, she has a very angry personality. Her father is very manipulative. Josh Powell claims that at times Susan was unstable, had even contemplated suicide at different points in her life. She has rocked out the front door in her underwear, started walking down the street. And at the time when all this stuff was happening, it was mortifying to me. I've tried to protect her from doing things that I thought might embarrass her or our family mm -hmm. in that respect, you know. Josh says he thinks Susan may still be alive and wonders if she left him and their two young children for another man. A claim police will not substantiate. Has she ever been unfaithful to you? Never that I know of. Then why do you think that she would just run off with another man? She's a very sexual person. Josh Powell's father, Stephen Powell, then goes on to make the bizarre claim that he's had a sexual relationship with his daughter-in-law. Susan was uh, very, very sexual with me. She was very flirtatious. I mean, I'm, I'm her father-in-law, and uh, she, she would do a lot of things that, that um, I mean, she was just, she did it, I did it. I mean, we, we interacted in a lot of sexual ways because Susan enjoys doing that. Do you think a part of you started falling in love with Susan? That's pretty likely, yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, I would say so. And, and, I, and, and there's no question in my mind that the feelings were mutual. Despite his father's claims, Josh is still holding on to hope. You think she's still alive? At times. It's a roller coaster. What would you want to say to her if she's watching? That I miss her. That she's that I love her, that she's got two boys who love her. 
We did talk to the police who are in charge of this investigation. They say they are not responding to any of these new allegations because this case is still open and active.